Hi, it's Jeremy Ritchie from Uplogix. I want to talk about today a feature of Uplogix that provides network administrators with network performance statistics. We call that at Uplogix service level verification. Now this is an add-on to Uplogix. It's not by default in the product. So if you don't have it, it's all right. Not everyone has this. But to check and see if you have it, go to your control center, administration tab, and look at licenses on the left. And you'll see, if you do have SLV or service level verification, you'll see an entry and a number on that license. Now, to provide you with these SLV statistics, this network performance analysis here, you have to create some tests. So we're going to create some SLV tests within the control center, and those SLV tests will be pulled down from the control center by the local manager. So at the bottom of the summary page of a local manager, you'll select SLV tests. And here's a good example of granular authorization. This link for SLV tests is not hot. So it's not letting me select this to create a test. All that means is that this local manager hasn't been enabled for SLV tests. And now I want to choose my systems and select all of those. Now all of my local managers within this control center will have the ability to create an SLV test. So back at the summary page, at the bottom, now we'll see this link being hot and I can create that test. Now we'll call it, it depends on what type of test you want to make. In this case, I'm going to create a simple HTTP GET. So I'm going to call this HTTP External and we'll call it uh, Google. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to google.com and measure the time it takes for a connection, a TCP connection, measure the time for the first byte, time for the last byte. So this is the first step in getting those types of network performance statistics. We create the test. Now this is where a lot of people get hung up. They forget to schedule this, the test. So they see they've, they've created this test, but Uplogix doesn't know what you want to do. So we're going to actually schedule the SLV test to run. So we click the Schedule Task button and go down to the SLV Monitor task, click Next, and we want this test to be HTTP external Google. That's the only SLV test available. Later on, I'll show you how to create a VoIP test or a uh, IT telephony test, and it will be listed in this drop down list also. Now you can add rules to this monitor, and rules are bread and butter of Uplogix. Rules provide uh, Uplogix with intelligence to automate things on your behalf. And what I mean by that is to take action, whether it's a simple action like generating an alarm or a more complex and uh, service affecting action like rebooting a 6500 switch. Anywhere in between, Uplogix can automate tasks for you. We could push a configuration, start up on that new configuration. In this case, with this network performance test, I just want to collect information and I'll go back in later on to actually add a rule so that I can then take action based on data that I collect. So clicking next will take you to the frequency. We want this to run, and not, not hourly, not daily, I want it to run every 120 seconds. Give this a description which is going to be SLV HTTP Google. You can call it whatever you want. When we save this scheduled task, the Uplogix local manager will pull that down within 30 seconds. That's the, the frequency of the heartbeat in this case. So if I look at local manager that I just scheduled the test on, if I type show mon, it looks like it's already been picked up now. So this SLV test has been scheduled and is going to run every 120 seconds. And that's what I've got highlighted on the screen. So every two minutes, this local manager will 
pull down Google.com and measure the time it takes for the first byte, time for the last byte, time to connect. And like I just mentioned earlier, it's right now only collecting information. So our monitor is collecting this information. It doesn't have a rule that would allow it to actually take any action based on the collection of the information. So let's see if one of these has run yet. So I'm going to type show SLV stats and then the name. So it hasn't run yet. When it does run, we'll see the network statistics that I just mentioned earlier. Let's look over at the control center where you'll view those same statistics. So on the local manager you've scheduled that test to run from, the summary page for that local manager, click SLV stats. Right now it says no SLV data has been archived for this system. Once those tests are running on the local manager, the results of those tests will be archived to the control center. By default, the archive frequency is 60 minutes. And that's shown here on the screen as 3,600 seconds. Now, I'm going to change that to 300 so that we can see some archive data within five, five minutes. Or so. I'll change that back. And that's not something you'd want to happen in production, because what that means is that every 300 seconds, the Uplogix local manager will back itself up onto the control center. So in production, you want to leave it at 3,600 seconds. All right, looking back at the test results here, it looks like at 1551, the SLV test took place. Uplogix resolved that host name of Google.com to this IP address. It took 31 milliseconds to connect, 46 milliseconds for the first byte, 68 for the last byte, and the total number of bytes it collected were 588. And we'll see this data for each test that takes place. Right now it's only been one test, every two minutes. So what I'm going to do is pause this recording and come back in a few minutes so that we can demonstrate the, the, the statistics in a graphical format in the control center. So now looking at the SLV stats in the control center, let's see what it looks like here. Right now there's no data. It shows last archived 2151, which is only a couple minutes ago. But looking back in the command line, let's look at the statistics. And I did force this, this test to run several times quickly. You can see all at 1554. And to do that, you simply add on a hyphen X at the end of the command to show those statistics. And what that means is to execute now. All right, so we've got some data points in this SLV test. You can see it's kind of not a great looking graph. There's not enough data points to give this test a, a meaningful uh, baseline. Once this test runs for maybe a week or two weeks, then you'll be able to get, as administrators, a baseline for your different variables, time to connect, time to first byte, so that you'll know average time to connect is about 31 milliseconds. With this baseline in, in place, you can then create a rule that you add into the monitor and that rule will say things like, if the time to connect exceeds 31 milliseconds for five consecutive tests, then trigger an alarm. And now that's a very basic rule. Trigger an alarm saying, Google time to connect greater than expected, or Google time to connect greater than 31 milliseconds. SLV tests can be used for other things also, and, and within those rules, you can do all types of things. You could push all traffic to an alternate route by having the uplogix send the, the shut command and no shut to a specific interface on a switch. And that's about it for SLV on this HTTP test. So I want to create a, a voice over IP test. And to do that, we go back to the 
add button, and we'll call this SLV VoIP to a target IP address. That target IP address is going to be 64.129.60.135. Now we choose the type of test, which is going to be an IPT. We could give it a codec to use. That's just the, the type of, um, of test it's going to have. And then a payload, whether it's a tone or an actual balanced Harvard sentence from a male or a female's voice. We need to give it a duration, and in this case, we'll say 15 seconds. That should be plenty. Once you get the test created, we're going to do something else. What we just did earlier is schedule the task. So we need to schedule an SLV monitor, and here the drop-down shows you the two SLV tests that we have in place. Now, again, we want this to repeat. And keep in mind that this test is going to run for 15 seconds. You don't have to have the test run for that long, but I did in this case. So I don't want to schedule this test to run too frequently. I'm going to have this test run every 600 seconds. And we'll call this the SLV IPT Demo Pod 2. So this is a test that's going to run from this local manager to another local manager. And the same thing. So once you have stats in place, you'll be able to choose the test that you want to, to see and then maybe you don't want to have anything except MOS. And we're not going to have any statistics for this test yet, but this is just an example. You can choose only MOS as the single piece of data to graph. And again, if your, if your network is performing and you grab a, a baseline for MOS score that is 1.1, then you can create a rule that triggers an alarm whenever MOS drops below that for a, a, any given duration, for any given number of tests. And the value here is that you'll see that a user at a remote office where this local manager is initiating his test from, this user might be calling in to complain that his voice call quality from his offices have been impaired. So it gives administrators a heads up before customers, their internal customers can complain. That's all I have for SLV. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at jritchie at uplogics.com. Have a good day.